Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at the PowerWinch P92001 or P55012 electric winch found on most modern pop-up trailers using the Goshen lift system. This video will show you the fix for when the motor is no longer working when trying to raise the roof. Usually in this case the lowering function still works. You may only hear a faint click or no sound at all when trying to raise. The replacement of the relay pack should solve this issue. First we are going to remove the top winch cover with these four screws, two on the other side. Next we need to remove the battery covers. To rule out the switch being defective, you can test the continuity with the multimeter. In our case, we know the switch is functional and no loose connections are visible. Next, we are going to remove the ground wire followed by the positive wire. Once you have the ground and positive wires removed, take the wires and route them down towards the front of the winch. Now we're going to remove the switch from the top winch cover. Please note the orientation so when you reinstall it, it can be in the correct way. Now we are going to remove the bottom winch cover. There's going to be two bolts on each side, here and here. Once the top and bottom covers are removed, you can set them aside, and it's always a good idea to clean them at this time. Now we're going to remove the three winch mounting bolts. In my case, they are 9 16 Now that you have the three bolts loosened, you're going to want to hold the winch as it will fall after the bolts are removed. The third bottom nut is held on by a retaining clip and will not be removed from the winch itself.
After that, you will lower the winch to the ground. I'm going to use a block, so it's not as far. Next, you're going to want to cut the zip tie here that's holding the wires. Be careful not to cut any of the wires. Looking at the relay pack, you're going to notice these are the two limit switch wires, the white and the yellow. White, in my case, is S1. Yellow is S2. It's always a good idea to take a picture of this just so you can put everything back exactly how it was. Now that you have the two limit switch wires removed, you can go ahead and remove the remaining wires. The two for the winch motor itself, the main power and ground wires, then the switch feed wire. Next, we are going to remove the upper motor mount bolt and then loosen the lower motor mount bolt. This is going to allow us to slide the motor away to remove this large gear. With the motor now loosened, we are going to remove the center C-clip carefully. If we notice any damage to it, it will need to be replaced. There we go. Now the gear can be removed. With the gear removed now, we are able to see the rivet that holds the relay pack. We are going to take a drill. Be careful not to go too far when drilling. Press the remainder of the rivet out with a punch. All right, now we're going to go ahead and take a look at the new part. We got the part number right here, R001751. It's a relay pack, and it comes with an additional rivet to install. Here's the old one. Here's the new one here. Both 80 amp dual relay pack. Back to the trailer. We're going to take the new relay, put it in place, take our pop rivet gun with the supplied rivet, and go ahead and install. After riveting the relay pack in place, we can reinstall the large gear and then tighten up the motor mount bolts. Now that we got the big gear, the motor tightened, we're going to go ahead and reinstall the wires to the relay pack. Now that all the wires are attached, we can go ahead and replace the zip tie that we cut earlier. Now that we have the zip tie attached, we are ready to go ahead and lift the winch back into the frame. Uh, this might be good for two people sometimes, just so you can line up all the bolts, get them in without dropping anything. Now that the winch is in place, keeping the bolts loose, you want to square it up as much as possible before tightening. You're going to tighten all three of these to 20 foot pounds. After that, you're going to reroute the power and ground wires back to the battery. Connect the power wire first, followed by the ground.
One of the last steps before testing, we're going to reinstall the switch into the top cover. Keep in mind the orientation you took note of previously. After the switch is installed, you can go ahead and screw in all four screws, and now you're ready to test. Before any testing, make sure to remove all four corner latches for your roof. And now it's time to test. While testing, you'll want to double check the squareness of the winch. Check for any kind of pulling of the spool of the cable to one side. Here we go. All right, it seems like we have solved the problem. Thank you everybody for watching. This is Michael with JM RV Rentals. So long.